Welcome back to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It's time to go shopping! So, yeah. Our objective is fairly vague at the moment as it reads, Explore Diagon Alley. So, let's have a look around. Um, we've already been to the Apothecary. And actually, I'm just going to check what uh, what we have in the way of healing items. See if, see if there's anything we can purchase there. We still have a decent amount of... Now we've got 557 sickles, decent amount of sickles there. So, uh, we could do with a couple of grand wigan wells. So, back into Mool Pepper's Apothecary we go. Best business he's had all day. He doesn't sell grand wigan wells, so I can buy a couple more wigan well potions, can't we? And a couple of pepper ups. Do, 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 do. Oh, he's I swear. <laughs> Exit and he tries to scam you into buying things again. Disgusting. Let's talk to people. Did you hear that Gilderoy Lockhart is giving a book signing today? This is a subtle hint to get you to go to the bookshop. Hey, it's the guy from the first game, but he's wearing a differently coloured robe. Oi, 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 dude. Try and talk here. Oh, no, wrong button. He's walking into an alley past a random encounter, which I'm now going to have to wait to disappear. You know who I saw today? Gilderoy Lockhart. My wife simply adores him. Why, that little slut. Okay. And this person... Did you spend the summer in a cupboard? Possibly. Right, let's go into the wizard card shop. New addition to the street. Which sells, shock horror, wizard cards. Consequently, irritating McBob from the first game is here. Oh, and we found a wizard card in the shop, so we steal it. Let's talk to irritating McDougal. Remember me? Blah 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 blah. Have you heard about the new famous witches and wizards card combinations? Some of the old ones have been taken out of circulation. The new card combinations, blah blah. Yeah, we could use some new combos. I still remember the confused lunch combination. Worst card combo ever. What it did right, it confused your lunch. Mm. Yeah, well, so far the new card combinations don't seem to be that great. Blah, 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 blah. I heard you don't have to go to the car collector's club room to trade anymore. You can trade from the start menu, if you can find a single other person who owns the game. Blah, 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 blah. Nice little way for Harry to tell you where the car collector's club is there. The secret chests in Hogwarts you can't open until you collect all the cards in a particular category. Alright, loyal viewers, I'll be honest, we're probably not going to end up opening any of them. You know, famous witches and wizards cards aren't the only cards I collect. I also collect football cards. This is the start of a um, series of item trading. A uh, little side quest, nice little side quest, which ends with you getting um, some nice armor or something. Uh, it's fairly easy to do, so yeah. Uh, I don't think we're going to waste any money on wizard cards, we'll pick them up easily enough. So we depart, there's a broom shop, which I think is just as useless as it- oh no, 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 this is important, broom shop, yes. For one thing, we steal the petty cash, 143 sickles is pretty nice at this point at the start of the game, at this point in the game I'm not going to complain. And this time we can actually buy things. Welcome to Quality Credit Supplies. Look at all the Chudley Cannon stuff. <sighs> Wish I could afford a team jersey. If only I had a rich and uh, generous friend, then I could possibly own a team jersey. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm dropping a hint, me? 
So yeah, let's buy one a jersey. Here, of course, you can buy stuff. So we'll buy one a jersey. Uh, Harry can have a robe. Of course, it's a bit more expensive and I want to rub my wealth in Ron's face. Uh, should I buy other stuff for them both? It's fucking costly. But I don't think there's really anything else I need to buy, so... A rope belt and a helmet for the pair of them as well. So we give the jersey to Ron. He's very thankful. And he gives us a football card. Well, fancy that. Uh, what am I doing? Yes, equipping items. Have your helmet. It'll look a bit daft, but what the hell? And a belt. And nothing else. Uh, this is basically just upping some of our stats, I think. Well, not paying much attention. Should be. Uh, Ron's already equipped his jersey, so we'll give him his helmet and belt as well. Pop back next door. And we receive a misprinted wizard card. Dialogue. And basically, there's a person you can trade that for up at Hogwarts. I'm telling you, though, up at Hogwarts, but you could probably have figured it out by the fact that. He says you can give the football card to him at Hogwarts, so if the next person in the, in the quest needed to trade to was in Diagon Alley, that would have rather break the game, wouldn't it? There's also an owl shot, which is useless. But we might be able to pick up a wizard card from an owl's arse, you never know. Turns out not. Anything useful in here whatsoever? Nope. Right, that's the top of the street. Talk to Merlin here. Oh, should be young again. Okay, bottom of the street. Past the healers. Magical menagerie, also new. A crate of purple toads have escaped in the back of my shop. I do hate when that happens. Side quest. Let's go hunt down some toads. There's a toad. There's another toad. Kill the toad! Ron gets to go first, which is annoying because he doesn't know inform us. What's useful against these things? It's good to know she's just sent two 12 year olds to go and take on five potentially dangerous toads. These to Bullfrog, vulnerable to Verdimilius. Barely afford to cast it. Oh well, should level up soon. So we've got a decent amount of XP from the uh, the boss fight. Four else fail. Oh, okay, they're not very strong. If all else fails, we can go back to the healers to get mana. One seems to be going first fairly often now. Eh? It's fairly annoying because it's unpredictable now and difficult to plan. Ah, uh, we've not leveled up. Damn. Means we don't have any mana for the next fight. Flipendo it to death. Now I'm not wasting pepper up potions, they're expensive. Oh, it can paralyse us. That's vaguely irritating.
Ron is paralyzed. That makes him mildly less useful than he normally is. He killed the fucking thing yet. Harry's leveled up at least. Three more. Hopefully Ron will level up after this. save a bit of mana. Victory! Hmm. How his spells leveled up, which is good, but Ron's not leveled up, which is bad. Two more. Now cast Verdimilius Duo. Nice one of our spells to level up. I don't think we've been using Verdimilius that much more than the other ones. But I don't think it's just simply based on spell use. Because I know in the last game I've had spells level up at the end of a fight when I didn't use the spell at all in that fight. So I'm not sure what it's based on really. Obviously usage plays a significant part, but whatever. I think Ron should level up Flipendo soon at this point. To be fair, having an upgraded but still cheap spell would be quite useful. One levels up. Scabbers learns a new trick. And Flipendo doesn't do level up. Oh, that was a rather nice little battle. Okay, Scabbers can now actually hit for damage, I believe. Let's test it out in the next fight. That's nip. I suppose it hits for a decent amount of damage. Could just use a spell, but okay, we can now throw scabbers at these things when we feel like it. Or we could just verdi release it. Also note, poor old Ron hasn't actually gained any spell levels yet, but I suppose Harry's been in our party for longer. Victory! Finally got all the bloody toads. I received five purple toads, which we just go back and deliver to the shopkeeper, I believe. And we, yes, we have to give them up individually and we get a wizard card. What do you do? I suppose we gained a couple of levels. Just going to go heal before I forget. Probably best, given that we're going to have a transition period to Hogwarts soon. Probably best to be at full health. I don't think there's going to be any more fighting before we leave. This shop sells something. Also note that several businesses, including Ollivander's and Madame Malkin's, appear to have gone out of business since we were last here. It's, uh, it's a joke shop. And it's closed. I've laughed myself silly. Well... At least it's not staffed by the fucking depressing guy who staffs it in the console game. And we can actually nick stuff from the storerooms then. And finally we end up at the bookstore. Talk to the Weasleys. Bookends! I've never enchanted bookends! You gotta love Arthur Weasley. Second year course books are considerably cheaper than the first year course books and cost a mere 50 sickles. Presumably for both of us. So we buy those. That's all the school supplies we need, but uh, of course we can't leave before going uh, 
having a uh, good old look at Lockhart, can we? That would be terrible. Hello again, Ali. Yo. Gilderoy Lockhart himself is out to sign his new book, Magical Me. I don't know why you see Hagrid here? He never really strikes me as a Lockhart fan. Lockhart wrote most of the books on my school list this year. And here he is, looking like a twat. Harry Potter! How historic for us to meet at last. A better moment could be could there be to announce the point that I... Uh, bleh, to be announced to announce that I am taking the post as teacher of defense against the dark arts at Hogwarts. Yes, the cursed job. That um, sees a remarkable turnover of staff last year, of course. The teacher turns out to be evil and working for Voldemort. This time, just turns out to be an idiot. Uh, in comes Draco, mouths off, mouths off at Ginny, blah 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 blah, blah blah blah, blah, mouths off at Ron, blah, blah blah blah, blah. I love the fact that not only does Lockhart stay silent through all that, his big prestigious book signing before Malfoy turned up for the sole purpose of mouthing off had an audience of four people. Well, I must be on my way. Bye, Hagrid. I'm not really sure what you were doing in that cutscene. Thanks for the help, by the way. Still down here. Well, well, well. Arthur Weasley. Are you being paid overtime at the Ministry? Blah, 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 blah. I'd say so. You're buying tattered books. You're obviously poor. Blah, 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 blah. I'm warning you, Malfoy. Ginny comments on the fact that her cauldron feels heavier after Lucius Malfoy puts a book back inside it. That's definitely not a plot point or anything. Hogwarts Express will be leaving soon. Why don't you go look around Diagon Alley for a while and then come meet us here when you're ready to go? Don't need to. Already ready. Right, that was just a short little section to finish up Diagon Alley. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you next time, where we go off to Hogwarts. Woo.